So I said something that was apparently very controversial to you today. Uh, yeah, you that did. There, there are no live comments on DTLTtoday.com right now. Which almost now. made me want to drop out of my contract on this show. Which people would be devastated. They I'm would sure. be <laughs> devastated. I made DTLT today. Before, I mean, before we you get have, to Wait, wait, wait. wait. Right. No, 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 no. Don't, don't cut me off. <laughs> don't start and then cut me off, okay? Fine, You're going to open up the bag of worms and let them come out of the bag. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> that was a nice analogy. Thank you. That was well done. Right? That was. It was a kind of an extended simile. Mm. Milton and me are very good at that. You, you let the worms out, and I will fish with them. <laughs> <laughs> good. I mean, but quickly, it's like you have a whole, like, video, TV, commentary, like, on things every day, and then you put it up on a blog, and you close comments on the blog? What the hell is that all about? Well, all right. So the person who brought this up, a couple of days ago was Todd Conaway, and he said, he said, you know, DTLT Today is going to be mm -hmm. this amazing resource, which, you know, I hope so. I think it will be a nice archive of videos of interesting topics that we've talked about, and I, sure. agree, and I agree that there needs to be a discussion around many of them. We only do this thing for 15 minutes every day, and there's sure. not enough time for us to cover everything, and it's just our two viewpoints. So I totally get yeah. that comments in general, a discussion should be had. The question, though, is an anonymous comment form the way to do it? Does that does that lead to a productive discussion, or is it this noise? I mean, is, this, is it just, you know, this many-to-one thing where all these people are pushing things back at you? Is it a feedback form? I mean, but everything becomes noise so quickly, it seems, these days. Like, yeah. It's noise. It's noise. Social media is noise. Mm. The fact is, is, it's a blog on you and your blogs that's right. specifically about instructional technology that a couple of people are going to know about and that will be lucky enough to get a few comments. So why would you automatically kind of say, okay, this is noise. We want to kind of control it. It's that control, Tim. <laughs> it's that idea of control, Tim, that has killed instructional technology. And if you propagate that, on UMW blogs, and you come in with the default is closed, <laughs> we don't have a real problem. Yeah, well, apparently, we don't have a real working problem. Are we? Are yes, we, okay. we are. Absolutely. <laughs> this is WWE throwdown right here. Absolutely. <laughs> are they WWF? Or Rowdy WWE? Roddy Piper, baby. <laughs> you're, the, you're the Iron Sheik. <laughs> <laughs> Macho man. <laughs> Well, apparently I'm not the only one, though. That's right. You called out earlier others. on Twitter, but Darcy Norman had a post. I'll pull his up here um, on his blog. Where and this is what's funny about this. It's funny. Yeah. It, it's actually not the first time that he's closed comments. So this is no, not it's something. The it's the second time that he's closed comments. That's and right. This and is he his opened website. them temporarily for DS106. For DS106. For you. He nah, opened them up. Yeah, and not for me. Not for you. <laughs> <laughs> and he certainly didn't have any problem closing them down again. Yeah. Well, and, you know, some of the points, he pointed out a couple different people that he follows, and mm -hmm. they had some good things to say about it. I was going back to the first time he closed them, where he was mm -hmm. really fleshing out some ideas of his. And one of them, John Gruber, Daring Fireball, I don't know if you read him, but um, he's no. sort of a... Is his comments closed? He doesn't... That's probably see, why I don't read the him. The thing that you're saying are the comments closed. I'm saying that the comments don't exist. For him, it's for a different reason. But he okay. says, you write on your site, I write on mine. And that's a response. You know what? That's like private property. It's like, you know what? You build your little house there. I'll build my little house here, and we'll put up a fence. And if your kids come over, I'll yell at you and your kids. <laughs> but isn't that what, what the... What the hell? Isn't what the web is Is that what on? the web's now? It's like my own little space? Yeah, I'm glad if you have your space, if it's open and inviting. But if it's just kind of like, this is my space. You want to do yours, you do it on your space. But Stay off the lawn. I feel like that's one of the beauties of the open web is that you can come, you can have a discussion. It shows up as a trackback. It's not that I'm closing out your discussion. They, those are showing up underneath of my post, yeah. and that's sending people to your blog it's like a foot to read more. rather than like a love letter. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I would much rather get a love letter. I mean, comments are the best things about blogging. You would rather someone leave a short comment on your blog rather than a fleshed out post on theirs. Depending. depending. I mean, one, you know, depending. If they want to go a full flesh post, great, do it. But who the hell blogs anymore? Right. You know, how often have you blogged? <laughs> well, that's, that's, <laughs> I blogged twice, <laughs> twice last night, so I don't even want to hear it.
I mean, come on. No one's blogging. Darcy, look. Do you want to know what happened with Darcy? Tell me. What you happened. want to know the real story behind Darcy? <laughs> Are you ready? I think Darcy might Ladies want to know Ladies and gentlemen, are happened. you ready? As soon as Darcy went into graduate school, he cut off his comments. Almost to the day. Mm -hmm. No, maybe that's not right, but it's actually what built up. And graduate school is what does that to you. Mm -hmm. It just actually, it makes you want to stop having a discussion. Well, it, to be fair. It's graduate school that's the real problem. That's the problem. I bet John Gruber went to graduate school. I agree with that. Uh, well, to be fair to Darcy, though, one of the things was he had, I, I don't want to call him a troll, but he's had people come leave vicious not vicious comments. I'm not trying to. Well, Sammy. I mean, it's very apparent who the guy is. <laughs> I'll call Sammy the guy was out. On, and not? Sammy came on my blog. Yeah. And he started, and I basically said, Sammy, I mean, and my, Darcy's tried again and again, and Sammy won't stop. And Sammy even recognizes he's a troll. And I really have problems with Sammy only because it seems like, although Darcy doesn't say it, it seems like that's a reason he doesn't open up comments. Because once there was this long conversation, Darcy, but Darcy also was like, if you follow Darcy closely, he's also like, you know what? I don't even know why I need to have this photo blog anymore. And I don't even know if I need to do Flickr anymore. I mean, Darcy is yeah. an extreme guy, and it's what I love about him. Yeah. And he's extremely on the edge of this. I mean, when I was coming into blogging, and he'd been blogging for years, and it kind of framed the way you did it. Maybe he's just burnt. Well, and the thing is, I think he's trying to look at things like the photo blog and trying to do stuff on his own is, how can this be done better? How can I yeah. get off of these other services? How can I do that? And so my thought with DTLT today is, how can we make the discussion better? We've got this thing going on. It's working today. Yesterday it wasn't. <laughs> where the Twitter comments are showing up. So yeah. like Dr. Garcia is actually comparing this conversation to the circles. Yeah. In, in Google Plus, and this idea that you're sequestering people. And the only reason I know about that is because we're able to follow it through You'll Twitter. You'll also notice that Dr. Gar Garcia agrees with me on this. Yeah, I look. And so I'm a big fan of hers. Yeah. I've always liked you, You Dr. can't Garcia. win them all. But <laughs> now, another interesting point that came up, there was a little fairy that kind of flew into DTLT. Mm. <laughs> he wasn't wearing purple today, but oh, no. he looks good. Andy Rosh, yeah, that's his name. That's my little mm. fairy. Hi, Andy. Um, he asked, he posed a question, uh -huh. would you ever delete a comment besides spam? No, so I if someone gets comments on your blog, uh -huh. right, when you blog, when you decide to blog, okay. someone comes on. Twice last night. You're lucky enough to have someone come on <laughs> and comment on your mm -hmm. blog. Would you delete it? I don't think I would ever delete a no. comment. Just I, because I think from a historical aspect, it's it's fair to be able to go and point back to that as yeah. this is the reason why I'm saying the things I'm saying now, why my, the tone has changed, or what, what decisions I make. You need to have That's that. Right. And if you delete it, then it's just like, did it really happen? Yeah. You've got a, Sammy. a Sammy. Well, I have. I've had a Sammy. Mm -hmm. I've had even someone call me a twat. In one of my in one of my comments, I've had people attack me. Have you ever hardcore have you ever my closed comments for a specific? I have never post. closed comments. I've never deleted a comment. I'm like the repo code. You never mm. close comments. You never delete comments. Yeah. And you keep them open. Ordinary people they close comments. Not a repo man. A repo man keeps them open. But then, goddamn ordinary people. But then, are you them. just are you just leaving a megaphone on a podium and then walking away? I mean, are no, you really like following? You're following and responding. Do you read my blog? I <laughs> no, but I mean, more seriously. I mean, I, I'm having fun with this, but more seriously, for me, comments are the life force of a blog, mm -hmm. and they're also, you know, Alan Levine goes at this again and again and again. Right? He takes that month out where he just comments on other people's blogs and. Mm -hmm. You know, the value of commentary, and I, you know, Darcy, you know, I love Darcy. Darcy, whatever he wants to do, that's what he wants to do. And he's always going to stand by that. And I believe in that, and I support that. But the process of writing regularly and of sharing regularly depends upon other people giving you feedback and that sense of other people reading. And yeah. that's why commentary, when DS106, and even when I was blogging at first, like people like Brian Lamb and Darcy and mm -hmm. Alan Levine and... You know, so many other people, Gardner Campbell, Andy, people all here, mm -hmm. Martha, commenting on my work is why I'm still blogging. Yeah. Without that feedback, without that sense that other people are listening, I felt like it was useless. Yeah. So to me, it's like, I don't think comment, commenting has become right now the way we're talking about it. It's like, you know, that's not the real conversation. That's just kind of like, 
you know, the dentritus that the open web delivers. It's like right. the open web is both. It's beautiful and it's also horrific at once. Right. And you have to have one and the other. You have to take both sides of it. Yeah, and yeah. that's what I learned from Alan. You know, it's like you can't have your surface. You can't and you know, or not sure. having comments not having comments to me seems like you might as well I mean, think of it as something other than a blog. Yeah. I mean, because it's not a blog anymore. Mm. One of the things that we were also talking about, uh, we had a back and forth on Twitter where we were trying to think of beyond just the standard comments, what are mm -hmm. some other ways that people can start to think about like interesting commentary. One of the things that I mentioned was I would love to find a way to do like video responses like YouTube sure. does where someone could say, you know, instead of having to type out this long post, if I could just say, record me and then say something to you and then you get to watch that video and everybody else gets to watch it too. I think that would be interesting. Yeah. Uh. Well, here's a, I mean, I think that's interesting too. And this is the idea of having an audio or video commentary, right? Mm -hmm. But there's something else that's happening with Twitter and you know, this is something I reacted to early on. I was like, man, when it started happening a year or two ago, it was like, people wouldn't comment anymore. Yeah. They would have the tr Twitter trackbacks, which you're talking about right now with mm -hmm. DTLT. And so you go to a, a post and then look for a discussion. It's got like 22 comments. Yeah. And all 22 of them are these kind of check you know, out, fragmented check out this post. Twitter about, right. yeah, this is great post, great post, great post. It's like mm -hmm. the like book or like a Facebook like or the Twitter retweet. Uh -huh. And as much as I love Twitter and I, Facebook, I don't really spend much time on. That wasn't helpful for me no. in terms of a discussion. Yeah, the fun, the 140 character limit. It's great in some aspects, but in terms of like a real discussion or even commentary of that, especially if yeah. you've got to stick a link in there too. You know, you're losing so many characters to where I, I think in some ways maybe it just promotes that. Oh, yeah. this is a great video. You should check it out. Oh yeah, I enjoyed this. But the thing too about Twitter that I think is interesting on the other side of that is. A lot of those tweets are basically the kind of, the, the idea of tweeting is, hey, great post, retweet, right? Whereas I think there are some people who tweet are actually very good at being aphoristic. Yeah. At kind of breaking down what they mean in 140 characters. And that's like yeah. a skill it in is. art form. Uh -huh. So there's both there, too. It's not just like everyone's saying, read this. There are some people who are able to do a very powerful comment in less than 140 comments. Right. Uh, 140 characters. That's a skill. I mean, one of the coolest things about Twitter for me has been about get rid of all the fat mm -hmm. and just write a kind of clean, solid, 140-character statement. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, yeah. the problem with Twitter is coming down the line, right? It said we're going to have embedded ads in Twitter. Yeah. And that's a little annoying to me, but whatever. Yeah. One of the other things that um, I think it was, it may have been Todd or it may have been Dr. Garcia. The who, great Dr. Garcia? The great Gina Garcia, who mentioned right. th this idea that similar to a video response or just these alternative ways of commenting, that taking Storify as a model. Yeah. Have you ever used Storify? I have, sure. That's yeah, right. so it lets you pull in all kinds of different web components from different websites, a YouTube video here yeah. or a tweet there, and pull it in into your own sort of, this is my commentary yeah. on what I want to say about your video. And I really saw that, actually, um, when... I think Dr. Garcia just commented, but I really saw that when people started to storify the whole Dr. Oblivion's missing mm -hmm. for DS-106 when we did that, and basically Michael Branson Smith did it, Todd Conaway, I believe, but a few people did these storifies, which were like, wow, there was no other way for me to imagine all these right. dislocated media so cleanly together. Yeah. And I think you're right. If you could have like where blog comments started to capture all the different media in mm -hmm. which people responded to, I would love that. I think that's yeah. a great suggestion. So make comments more like Storifies. Yeah. Awesome. More comments more malleable. The idea that you could say, okay, here's what people are saying. Mm -hmm. What if this was put here and that was there and then you added in this that someone said on Twitter and put this YouTube video here. Does that make any more sense? That's my comment to and your what, video. What we're starting to think about then is along with a post, a blog post or whatever, you're going to have an aggregated series of other media right. associated with it, uh -huh. which is kind of links a kind of even more aggressive and interesting idea of the edge glue, yeah. right? Where you kind of have this distributed conversation, but are able mm -hmm. to aggregate it at particular points so that people can read it and make sense of it. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll make a deal. Yes. I will turn comments back on on DTLT today, but only if you all come out there and actually say something. 
Yeah. I well, want to know what look, people have to say. Wait, no, we got to have, you know what? With DTLT today, this is one of the things we got to be. Mm. It's patient. Yeah. We got to build this thing. I hear it. Right? I hear it. If you build it, it is, no dream. No. <laughs> it is no If you will it, it if is you no will dream. It. <laughs> All right, hey. that's DTLT today. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys.